Good afternoon, Scott Cushing here live from Idiom Art. And uh, we're here to uh, announce the Idiom Art Open House Studio. And your host today is gonna be Daniel Williams. So I'm gonna switch the camera around and we are gonna talk to Daniel. Hi, Daniel, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing well. I hope you guys are doing the same. Uh, you know, we just wanted to take a moment to, uh, to show you guys what we have going on here at Idiom Art, basically on a daily basis. And uh, basically our different work processes. We also have some work um, showing in the studio as well. Basically, the event is an open house where you can come in, you can chat with artists. Uh, there's three of us, or four of us here. There's uh, Susan Armstrong, uh, there's Maite and Alberto Soriano, uh, there's me, myself, Daniel Williams. And uh, basically, you can come through and watch us work. And we're about to take a quick tour of what we have showing as well. We also have uh, some works in the gallery that we're showing as well. So it's pretty exciting. Come on, let's All take right, a look. Let's take a look. Susan Armstrong, a Canadian painter, uh, very explorative with color and flowery forms. And then on this wall here, we have some work by, by Maite. And there are also oil paintings as well, uh, some beautiful portrait work. Oh man, look at the colors in that, that's amazing. Absolutely. It's like the more you look at it, the more you see as well. And then lately I've been working in pen and ink. So here are some of my original works. And then I have some prints available as well, if you're interested. And then more original works on this wall. All right. All right. So let's move on to the next gallery. Absolutely. So here we have some watercolors by Alberto. And also some of my face paintings. So on the wall here, these are by Alberto Soriano. Uh, yeah, these are by Alberto Soriano. There's some watercolors. A masterful watercolor painter. And lots of so a balance between nature and street scenes in Cuenca. And here are some of Maite's smaller oil paintings as well. Very rich and intricate use of color. Like I said, these are works that you can see and then just keep on exploring them almost forever. So much texture in them. And then we have to get the, the portrait of the house dog, Frida. Frida is sometimes a guest on my Monday morning podcast. She likes to speak up when we're recording our Monday update podcast. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love this. Absolutely. Look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a nice, this is uh, Alberto's Pre-Columbiano series, or Pre-Columbian series, sorry. Uh, very beautiful. Nice, intricate uh, forms as well. Very amazing. Beautiful textures. All right, do you want to take a look outside at Susan Armstrong's studio? So yeah, let's go down to see? Susan's studio. Yeah, let's take a look. And of course, we get to see the beautiful garden on the way down. Got some poinsettias for Christmas. You know, if you come on down, it's um, the open house is on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. And there's some light beverages and snacks. So in addition to meeting the artists and getting to see where they work, you can also have some, uh, some refreshments too. Absolutely. So we're going to go into Susan Armstrong's studio here. All right, I have to watch my head going through here. Yes, I know. Hi, Susan. How are you doing? Oh, Hi, fun. Susan. I'm just rearranging things. It's just, this is too high when I sit down. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So what do we have going on here? What, what's uh, uh, I display my, my most, sorry. Some beautiful work. Susan is very prolific in her painting. Yes, she is. Susan, tell us a little about this series you're doing, if you don't mind. Her abstract paintings of women, sometimes men and children. Mm -hmm. And they are just, I don't know how to say this. People want to, to me to explain them. 
and they're just like other abstract paintings. Mm -hmm. You can't. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> Fair enough. Gotcha, gotcha. So <laughs> there's just oh, interesting. Man. Love the colors. So beautiful. And I love painting with really bright colors. Absolutely. So uh, I have several of your paintings hanging in my guest room and they're yes. very bright and colorful. Yes, I have a lovely pair. This one's beautiful with this intricate mandala. I really like it. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. I was doing some dog painting at that when I made the tour. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't, I don't need all this dot painting. <laughs> so I painted on top of it oh. and left the dots. That's, well, that is, that's where they come from. It's beautiful. I, I absolutely love it. So we're, uh, I think I have it all arranged. Oh, great. Love that. Yeah, I love the white down here. It's an excellent idea. Yeah, so. Uh, all right. Well, I thank always, you, Susan. I always have many, many things. At least <laughs> there's 40 <laughs> on display. Like I said, you're very prolific. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Thank you, you're Susan. You're welcome. Be careful. All right. All right. Put your head down. Let's wander up into the into your workspaces, Daniel, if yeah, that's okay. Yes, yes. And you can come on down and see this firsthand, talk to the artist, watch them work, and again, have a nice little snack, too. Hi, Mike. We're about to head up to your studio. Yes, you want to join yes, us? Of course. Okay. <laughs> again, while we're walking up the stairs, just a reminder that the open house is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week from 10 in the morning until four in the afternoon. The artists are waiting for you. I'm looking forward to you visiting. Up the stairs. All right, after you good sir. All right. All right, so here we have the beautiful, my face, beautiful studio here. Wow, what a great workspace. This is so nice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm working more portraits and faces now. Ah, so she's working on portraits. And I, I'm one of the most talented portrait artists that mm. I've ever met. It's yeah. so beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah, and then we have some nature scenes over here as well. And still lives. There, one thing about Mighty still lives is that they really tell a story. Oh, yeah, they, they do. Really, they have a lot of character to them. Oh, I love this one up here. Look at that. Gorgeous. We have some lips along the wall over here. Awesome. Maite, where is this? Uh, the coast has um, been going more than Santa Elena, in Santa Elena. In Ecuador? In Ecuador, hmm. yes. And I, I love Maite's ability to, to capture working people. Mm, that's working what I was people. just noticing, yeah. <laughs> love this, look at that. Oh. That is a traditional food they used to do on ah, the country in Peru. Ah, so this is a traditional scene of Peruvians cooking. Beautiful work. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Maite. Thank you so Thank much. You. Guys, come down, and come down and see Maite personally. She'll show you around her studio space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see what Alberto's up to. Alberto! ¿Cómo va? Bienvenidos. This is a, the wonderful studio of Alberto Soriano. And, and let's see what he's working on right now. This beautiful... Oh, my goodness. Vista de Cuenca. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a compositional piece. Very expressionist. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's almost a bit abstract, impressionistic as well. Fantastic. And that's kind of the thing that you'll see in a lot of Alberto's work. He also does some beautiful realism. Like if you look over here, Check out the textures on this painting. Absolutely amazing. Oh my amazing. goodness, look at that. Absolutely amazing. Again, these are works that you could just stare at for, for hours and still discover something new. And I love working here because there's so I much inspiration. I love this piece here. This is beautiful. 
Yeah. Wow, you really need to come down and see this in person. Uh, the video is just not going to do it justice. Yeah, and this is a pre-Columbian work. Sí, es una serie pre-Columbina, generalmente basada en culturas de Perú y Ecuador. Ah, so this is a pre-Columbian piece, and what it depicts is basically a style and imagery of um, pre-Columbian Peru and Ecuador. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Sí, y mis series, eh, o sea, trabajo varias series. Ah, he works in series. Sí. Tiene, tiene tres, ¿eh? Sí, tres, cuatro series. Eh, eh, la precolombina. Uh -huh. sí, y la uh, Amazonas. Yeah, so the precolombian and the Amazons. Sí, y la serie, por ejemplo, urbana, que es la serie Quito, Cuenca. Ah, and then... Uh, the, the city scenes as well. Mm -hmm. And then what you'll notice is sometimes all these series combine sí, into, y, into y, one obra, like this sí. one here. Es la fusión de varias series. Yeah, it's a fusion of various series. Sí, y las últimas series que estoy trabajando son aquellas que con nueva gama de color ah. con otra idea de so here he's working with a new palette. Uh, he's working with another series of colors. Uh, much darker, huh? Yeah, much darker in the nighttime series. And you kind of see that this also this fusion of, of uh, landscapes and everything else that he so wonderfully works upon. And then we have a cityscape here. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Y es una fusión también de, de muchos elementos que pongo en las obras. Uh -huh. En las ah. obras anteriores eh, involucro en la obra. Pero en este momento estoy trabajando una gama de colores un poco más eh, eh, oscuros, uh -huh. con contrastes, eh, sombra ah. y violeta. So he's eh. starting to contrast, the work with more contrasts, more, more dark colors as well. And he's starting to add violet to his palette, more purples. And uh, also, this is a, another sense of a fusion of all of the different styles that he has going on. Really an amazing painter. Oh, man. So beautiful. Ah. Yeah, so he's taking his pre Columbian uh, palette and then mixing it with his cityscape palette. Mm. So, what we're starting to see now is the, this overlapping of this series. It's really beautiful. Okay, look so at cool. Maestro. Gracias. Gracias, Maestro. Gracias, Maestro. Yeah. All right, let's go into your studio here. Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm an artist and illustrator. Um, lately, I've been working more on the illustrative side, uh, doing a lot of ink drawings. So here are some ink drawings that I've thrown up really quickly, um, just to kind of put them on display. So what I'm, I'm doing now is I'm kind of, I'm searching for a series as well. That's my billboard where I work on works in progress, mm -hmm. my to-do list, all of that. And then we have some jazz singers and players. You know, it's great to see these on video, but you really need to come and see them in person to do it justice. So yeah. definitely come on down, folks, uh, today, tomorrow, and Friday from 10 to 4. You'll get to know the artists. They can explain their works to you. You can see these amazing pieces live and in person and have a little snack and a little beverage. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for our, uh, coming on a virtual tour with us, and we hope to, uh, to see you here on an actual real tour where you can look at our art and kind of explore some of the details and textures, things that you can't really see on video. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks, Daniel, and thanks, everyone. Come on down to Idiom Art, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Ciao.